As we see the storm clouds are parting, as are the COVID clouds parting. Democratic governors this week going their own way, breaking with Biden administration guidance on masking and COVID policies. Oh, our hospitalizations are still high. Our death rates are still high. So as we work towards that and as we um, are encouraged by the current trends, we are not there yet. Governors in some of the nation's bluest states announced plans to drop masking mandates in schools or businesses. New Yorkers, this is what we've been waiting for. Tremendous progress after two long years. And we're not done, but this is trending in a very, very good direction, and that is why we are now approaching a new phase in this pandemic. The changes come as Democrats brace for a tough political season, and public polling shows Americans are growing tired of ongoing COVID precautions. A recently released Monmouth University poll found 70% of respondents agreed with the sentiment, it's time we accept that COVID is here to stay and we just need to get on with our lives. The White House, meanwhile, continues to urge Americans to follow CDC guidance, recommending universal masking in schools and indoor public spaces where community transmission is high. Our advice to every school district is to abide by public health guidelines. It continues to be at this point uh, that the CDC is advising that masks can delay, reduce transmission. There are also a number of other mitigation measures that we've put in place, but that continues to be CDC guidance. The CDC says they are monitoring data and working on updated guidance. So we certainly understand the need and desire to be flexible, and we want to ensure the public health guidance that we're providing meets the moment that we're in. Natalie, White House officials say they are working with the Department of Health and Human Services to coordinate with governors and public health officials on easing COVID-19 restrictions, which could vary in different parts of the country based on case rates.